The complicated man at the center of our streaming series, Saving San Francisco, will be allowed to walk out of jail tomorrow, and that has one woman terrified. Senior investigative reporter Bagat Chaban explains why that man is being set free and tells us about the new accusations that could land him back behind bars. There hasn't been any justice, period. Ann Ray is frustrated, angry, and scared. The man caught on surveillance video, repeatedly lurking outside her home, at one point even naked, is about to be released from jail. Do you think he'll be back at your front door? Oh, 100%, of course. We all know he will. Are you worried he may try to hurt you? Yeah, of course I am. And so are people who care about me. That man is James Durgan, the central figure of our streaming series, Saving San Francisco, which chronicled the dark side of the city and solutions for how to fix it. Durgan, who was once a beloved private school teacher and fitness coach, became addicted to drugs and has struggled with homelessness and mental health issues for years. He tells us he's been arrested more than 100 times in San Francisco. And court records we obtained show he's been convicted of a range of crimes involving drug use and violence. Ann says she had never met Durgan until she caught him trying to break into her apartment in San Francisco's normally quiet Presidio neighborhood. Hi, James. In a jailhouse interview more than two years ago, Durgan told us he's often misunderstood and denied ever wanting to hurt Ann. I am convinced that if Miss Ray and I had a chance to talk, go for a walk on the beach, have some tea, um, that we would not be in this situation at all. Now, I'm sure we could be best friends. I'm sure we could be. Do you think you could be best friends with Anne? Oh, I could be best friends with anyone. Yeah. Durgan's current sentence inside San Francisco County Jail is for violating his probation stemming from an unrelated crime. Over the years, Durgan has racked up repeated probation violations, including disabling his ankle monitor and abandoning court-mandated rehab, sometimes walking out just hours after checking in. I'm always appalled and I'm never surprised. Anne blames a broken criminal justice system that she says has given James Durgan far too many second chances. You cannot help anyone who doesn't want help, and it's arrogant to keep insisting this. Oh, he just needs help. He doesn't want your damn help. Why don't you help me and my community stay safe and put those resources there? Because he doesn't want it. The district attorney's office says it can't keep Durgan in custody any longer since he's already served the maximum sentence allowed for violating his probation. Ann says she's been asking prosecutors to file stalking charges against Durgan for years, spanning four different district attorneys. The current DA's office tells us because the Presidio rests on federal land, it's out of their jurisdiction and instead up to the U.S. attorney's office. But the feds won't comment on whether they ever have or will consider a stalking charge. It's frustrating and it's scary and it's sad. We're actually being injured by the justice system. While Durgan is scheduled to soon be a free man, he'll have to appear before a judge next week in connection to a vandalism charge recently filed by the Department of Justice. It all dates back to last November, when Durgan was caught on camera writing a cryptic message on the front door of one of Ann's neighbors. She's my love, he wrote, and he's accused of leaving similar notes nearby. She's mine was left on another door. Do you think all these messages were meant for you? Yes, I do. Obviously, they're a warning. He's not backing down. When we first spoke with Ann a couple of years ago, she told us when Durgan is out of jail, she feels so terrified. She sleeps with a knife and taser by her bedside. Do you still feel that way? Oh yeah, of course. And I bar the doors. His behavior just gets increasingly aggressive and menacing. And there's nothing to stop it. The U.S. Park Police, which patrols the Presidio, recently sent a photo of James Durgan to each of its officers in the area. In light of Durgan's scheduled release from jail this weekend, more security checks will be set up in case Durgan tries returning to Ann's home, violating her restraining order. Now, Durgan will only have less than a week as a free man before he'll have to appear before a federal judge on Thursday to answer for that vandalism charge. And if he fails to show up, it's likely a warrant will be issued for his arrest. With the investigative unit, I'll be Gatcha Ban. Yeah, thank you. And you can catch up on all six episodes of Saving San Francisco right now on our website, or you can stream it on Peacock, Roku, Samsung TV Plus, and more.